No matter how you look at it, both of these cars are straight up rock and roll. First you have the Chevelle, the popular frontman who's cool and maybe a little bit insecure. And then the AMC SC Rambler, who's a saxophone player who's just here to have a good time. It's kind of in the background, but still makes some great noise, but people have forgotten about it. And with that, why don't we take a closer look, shall we? What the f*** is this? Gross! Get out of the way! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 1969 AMC Hearst SC Rambler. But a lot of people call it the Scrambler for short. <laughs> you get it, you guys? It's a play on words. AMC was always well known for their jokes. I mean, just look at the 74 Matador sedan. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Scrambler was only made for that one year. And I can't lie, this is one of my favorite muscle cars of all time. AMC was essentially on the sidelines and they said, you know what, we like where this muscle car thing is headed and we want a piece of that. I don't want a piece of you. I want the whole thing. <laughs> so AMC took Grandma's Rambler. Hey, that's my Rambler. And added some parts that they had sitting around. Things like a four-speed manual transmission, twin grip rear, power front disc brakes, heavy duty cooling, staggered shocks, and oh yeah, a hood scoop that gulps in air and swallows better than Linda Lovelace. <coughs> the Chevelle, on the other hand, is slightly more subtle with its absolutely gorgeous silver paint and sleek design. And speaking of subtle, why don't you take a look at that little badge right there? When you see Berger on a Chevrolet muscle car, you know it means business. So nah, this isn't some run-of-the-mill L35 325 horse Chevelle. This one's an L78. We're talking four bolt mains, a forged steel crank and rods, mechanical lifters, a compression ratio of 11 to one, and a massive Holly 780 CFM carb sitting on top of an aluminum intake manifold. All of this is great for power, but it does love to guzzle the fuel. But it does sound pretty good doing it. That 396 cubic inch V8 was putting out an underrated 375 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 415 pound-feet of torque at 3,600 RPM. I mean, come on, does this car get any better? No. Well, unless you have Natalie Portman in the front seat and she wants to give me a box of donuts, technically that would be better. I need her intelligence to offset my toilet humor. <laughs> The Scrambler only came with AMC's absolutely excellent 390 cubic inch V8. It was big on cubes, but its weight was near that of a small block Chevrolet. It had a forged crank and rods, a compression ratio of 10.2 to 1, and get this, thrush glass packs from the factory. Uh? And this little monster put out 315 horsepower at 4,600 RPM and 425 pound-feet of torque at 3,200 RPM. The Chevelle came with a three-speed manual transmission as standard, but there were a few other options. A specially tuned Turbo 400 three-speed automatic was available with the L78, but this car has the ultra-cool four-speed manual. The Scrambler, though, is a purist. There was only a four-speed manual available. Nothing else. There were no automatics, and that's pretty darn hardcore. <laughs> The Chevelle had a few rear gear options available, but this one has the L78 favorite. 410 gears. And once again, the Scrambler had no options. You got 354 gears and you were gonna like it. Yeah. <laughs> However, with Group 19 parts, the dealer could swap that out for you, and this car now has a set of 410 gears. By 1969, a Chevelle with a big block wasn't terribly light. This car with driver is coming in at 3,846 pounds. The Scrambler, though, is pretty lean. With driver, it's only 3,302 pounds. So even though the Chevelle makes more horsepower, the Scrambler is 500 pounds lighter, so it might compose a symphony of speed dedicated to the Chevelle. But I wonder what the title would be. What do you call this? Well, this piece is called uh, Lick My Love Pump. The Chevelle was a pretty good deal back in 1969. The base V8 was $2,673. The Super Sport package would set you back $348. That upgraded L78 engine was $252. 
And then of course, positive traction was $42 and the four speed manual transmission was another 184 bucks. So at its cheapest, this car was gonna cost $3,499 and adjusting for inflation, that's $24,810 today. And that's a pretty good deal until you take a look at the Scrambler. This car has no options. You put down your money, you got a car, that's the end of the story. It's the AMC way. This thing was only $2,998 and adjusting for inflation, that's only $21,257 today. Actually, we need to take a step back because technically there was an option because there were two different paint schemes available. The A scheme, like our featured car, and the B scheme, which was a little bit more subdued. So you could choose the B scheme and be a patriot, or you could choose the A scheme, and you are the equivalent of Abe Lincoln riding a grizzly bear while carrying his AR-15, drinking a Bud Light, and he was just diagnosed with diabetes. God damn it, I love America. There were just over 86,000 total Super Sport Chevelles produced in 1969, but only 9,486 had the L78 engine. And that's fairly rare until you look at the Scrambler, which only had 1,512 total, and that's rarer than a rock star who doesn't stuff his pants. Would you, um... Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Just a little bit more information before we check out the first race. At the time of filming, the temperature was 57 degrees, humidity 44%, elevation 944 feet, and barometric pressure was 29.44 inches. All right, let's check it out. Which doesn't have it anywhere near as much horsepower for about the same cubic inches, but you have to watch out for this car. And let's watch and see. And the Scrambler runs a 13.31 second quarter mile at 105.16 miles per hour, but he did red light, so that gives the automatic win to the Chevelle, who ran a 13.81 at 86.43 miles per hour. And it sounded like the Chevelle may have fallen victim to a missed shift, which wouldn't be surprising if it still has its factory Muncie linkage, so I think that car can run quite a bit quicker. Let's see what happens in round two. Five miles per hour versus a 13. 64. And here we have another Chevelle, 69. Uh, these, both these cars are 69, so the Chevelle in the right lane is an SS396 with a 375 horse engine. I don't think any of the 69s we have here are anything other than the top engine. And the Rambler Scrambler in the left lane is... This time the Chevelle didn't have any shift issues and it takes home another win running a very impressive 13.12 seconds at 106.52 miles per hour compared to the Scrambler's 13.36 seconds at 105.53 miles per hour. And even though the Chevelle has now clinched the best of three title, both drivers opted to run a third round anyway. So kudos to both of them and how about we check it out. The Chevelle and for the Rambler, the a 13 Well, I can see that there's a Rambler scrambler in the right hand. I can't see what's in the left lane. Uh, wait a moment. And then the 69 Chevelle, silver, SS396, 375 Porsche. In 1969, it was the first year to get a 396, 375 Porsche car. In this round, the Scrambler had some traction issues off the line, but still managed a very impressive 13.48 second quarter mile at 105.64 miles per hour. But in the other lane, the Chevelle does it again, running a 13.19 second quarter mile at 105.64 miles per hour. Even though the Scrambler may have lost today, it's still absolutely awesome to see one on the track. But for now, we gotta give the trophy to the Chevelle.
Regardless of whoever wins, I sure hope that we see both of these cars again next year. How about we take a look at all three races one more time without any interruption? It's a 13, 19, and 105 on three inches, but you have to watch out for this car. And let's watch. Let's see. I don't think any of the 69s we have here or anything other than the top engine. And the Rambler Scrambler in the left lane. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And come on, find us on Instagram, guy. What are you doing with your life?